Hello, bug friends. We are continuing down our meandering path of the order names. What's in a name? How the Greek was derived to help you identify the bug. Today we are talking about Megaloptera and this order used to be part of Neuroptera. So if you saw the last video, I mean, we talked about Neuroptera. This is one of the groups that got split out of that. So it has a lot of similarities to Neuroptera because it used to be there and used to be there fairly recently. Like I studied taxonomy in grad school eight years ago and I learned it as Neuroptera. So I'm relearning this just with you. We're on, we're on this journey together. Taxonomy is a journey that we all do together. So I always look up the Greek roots because I don't want to say anything wrong for you bug friends. So I did look this one up, even though I was like 100% sure that Terra means wing and Megalo means big, right? That's where we get mega from. However, I was unprepared for the shade that the Wikipedia article threw at the Dobson flies. They say that Megaloptera was named because of this order's large, clumsy wings. I don't know what the Dobson flies did to whatever naturalist wrote that sentence, but uh, something, obviously. On a side note, I really love when naturalists like throw shade on their organisms. I think it's hilarious. I died here in Ecuador and we use the Merlin bird guide all the time. And some of those descriptions are, are fire. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Recommend just reading the Merlin bird app for funsies. Anyway, back to bugs. Megaloptera includes the fish flies, the alder flies, and their namesake, the Dobson flies. The Dobson flies are probably the most well-known out of this group. They're big, they're very charismatic. The tropics has a beautiful yellow species. This is probably where that name Megaloptera comes from because of these big Dobson flies with their big clumsy wings. It seems like what really separated this group out from Neuroptera was some genetic work and also of the formally aforementioned Neuroptera, which included the Dobson flies back in the day. The Dobson flies and the alder flies, this whole group, the Megaloptera group, are the only ones with aquatic larvae. So that one characteristic behaviorally and also physiologically, so that way they have like gills and could live underwater, you know, all the important things that also seem to separate out this group from the other typical Neuroptera. All right, friends. And there you have the group of the big wings, the big clumsy wings, <laughs> the Megaloptera, the Dobson flies, alder flies, and fish flies.